This is the M1A2, Abrams' main battle tank. Here's why it exists, the M1A2, which was given the green light for manufacturing in 1990, is the U.S. Army's technical advancement of the original M101 design and the most cutting-edge combat tank in existence. Although the M1A2 shares many outward features with the M1EA, when the commander's weapon station CWS has been modified and a commander's independent thermal viewer has been added to the left side of the turret, aft of the loader's door, but the M1A2 has had a major overhaul on the inside so that it can use more modern technologies. The inclusion of the Inter-Vehicle Information System, IVIS, is the most prominent of these enhancements. IVIS technology enables the automated and continuous transmission of data between vehicles. Without task vehicle operators, unit commanders can automatically track the position and progress of subordinate components using information provided by an onboard position and navigation POS and AV system. Furthermore, enemy locations may be detected, mapped, and distributed, and reports and artillery requests can be written, delivered, and processed automatically. Finally, map visual control measures and operational directives may be delivered quickly using the IVIS system. General Dynamics Land Systems is the original manufacturer, in service, United States Army and Marine Corps engine, 1500 APA smoothbore 120M XM 256 cannon, a 7.62M and 240 coaxial machine gun, and a 50 caliber M2 machine gun, and a 50 caliber M2 machine gun, are among the weapons. Propulsion System, gas turbine engine armament, the fastest speed is 42 miles per hour, 265 mile range crew, four all IVIS data transfers are routed through the Singar's radio system of the M1 Mat Wu to ensure information security. The M1 Nyatu advances the hunter-killer tank commander, gunner target handoff technique first developed on the German Leopard II by giving the tank commander access to a separate thermal site. With the help of this CTV site, the commander is able to independently search for targets in all kinds of weather and through obstructions on the battlefield. The M1 Atu includes a variety of significant technological enhancements in addition to the IVIS and the CITIP. The tank's power distribution has been upgraded. It depends on numerous bus lines, so power may still be provided to a component even if one conduit is broken. The gunner's primary sight has been stabilized in two axes for greater accuracy, while the driver's instrument display has been upgraded to a more comprehensive digital display. The Ammoniatu SEP system enhancement package, approved for execution in 1995, is a technological upgrade and standardization initiative that will bring the Army's fleet of M1s and M1A2s up to a single standard. Among the most significant changes will be the inclusion of a standard Under Armour Auxiliary Power Unit as well as a crew compartment air conditioning and cooling unit. Updates to the EV system color display, full-size keyboard, digital mapping, and graphics creation capability, and speech recognition capabilities, upgrades to the gunner's primary site assembly, and improvements to the tank's intercom and radio communication systems will also be made. After an initial run of 627 cars, production of the MO Nauwu was terminated. As part of the fleet improvement effort, 547 of the Army's existing MOANs are being updated to M1ATWUNIATWU SEP standards, which will necessitate total turret remanufacturing, while the present fleet of M1 manufacturing, while the present fleet of M1 AWUs will be retrofitted to meet SEP requirements. This is the M72 Light Anti-Armor Weapon Law, 